Casey Musgraves, the so-called country rebel, has had quite the journey to become as successful and well-known as she is today. If you're itching to know where the singer got her start, we have the answer. Here's a look at the stunning transformation of Casey Musgraves. Casey Musgraves was born in the small town of Golden, Texas in 1988. According to Glamour, the town was tiny, and the young Musgraves grew up surrounded by wide-open spaces, and her parents ran their own graphic design business in a nearby town. As Musgraves explained to Billboard in 2018, her childhood home was in the sticks, far away from shopping and movie theaters. When she got bored, Musgraves said her mom always had a solution. As she recalled, my mom would be like, you're bored, okay, well, make something, ride your bike, write a song, write a poem. As she explained to Billboard, her rural upbringing got her excited about creating art from a young age. Despite her small-town origins, Musgraves had a pretty standard childhood for a girl growing up in the 90s. Like other children her age, she was immersed in 90s music and culture. She explained to The Guardian how her Walkman shuffled between Spice Girls, Backstreet Boys, Shania Twain, and Sheryl Crow, as well as all the women in country music who dominated the airwaves during the decade, charting a course that she would one day walk herself. According to the Country Music Hall of Fame, Musgraves learned to yodel at eight years old, and a few years later, the youngster picked up the guitar and the mandolin. At age nine, Musgraves wrote her first song, Notice Me, which she sang at her school's graduation. According to The Guardian, Musgraves spent her childhood singing Western Swing on the weekends in various country halls in Texas, decked out in boots and rhinestones like a true young country star. Musgraves recalled how her whole family supported her musician ambitions. According to the star, her parents printed promotional flyers in their print shop, her sister took her promotional photos, and her grandmother booked her gigs. Later, her grandmother even paid for her first self-released album. Hey, it takes a village. Throughout Casey Musgraves' early teen years, the up-and-coming musician got formal music training from a Texas guitar teaching legend called John DeFore who was also responsible for teaching Miranda Lambert and Michelle Schacht. DeFore taught Musgraves in his studio in Mineola, Texas, which was located in the town's atmospheric abandoned railway hotel. As Musgraves explained to The Guardian, DeFore's teaching technique was different for every student. When it came to her, she said, quote, Right away, he knew I wasn't a kid who was going to learn by repetition and scales. So if somebody's out there watching this and they want to be the next Casey Musgraves or Miranda Lambert, sure. what's the first thing they need to do? Right. Apparently, his unorthodox method consisted of asking Musgraves to write a song between each class. He would instruct her to tape her songs and listen closely to her chord choices and question them. Musgraves told The Guardian that she believes that this unusual guitar education is what gave her the confidence and skill to begin a songwriting career of her own. After Casey Musgraves graduated from high school, she packed her bags and moved to Austin in 2006. As Musgraves explained to Vanity Fair, living in Austin on her own helped her to grow up as she figured out how to live on her own while continuing to write songs and perform shows. But her career started in earnest when she moved to Nashville. As she recalled, I jumped right in. I didn't have a backup plan. I was super fearless. It was during this period that she self-released three albums in an effort to get her career going. Though she reportedly doesn't think too highly of these early efforts, which may have been a little juvenile in comparison to her later music, it's clear that she worked hard to make a name for herself during her early days in Austin and Nashville. After Casey Musgraves released her first three albums independently, she finally got her big break in 2007 on the show Nashville Star the country music sister to American Idol. On the show, Musgraves was definitely an emblem of Texan country music, with her solo guitar and her Texan twang, a far cry from her more glamorous look seen in recent years. The singer placed seventh on the show, but this didn't stop her from pursuing her dreams. In 2014, seven years after her stint on the show, Musgrave spoke to Yahoo about her time on the program. She confessed, It's probably a good thing that people don't remember me from that time period. I was very young and figuring myself out musically and personally. The star explained that while her performances on the show weren't exemplary of the singer she'd eventually become, 
The show itself helped to shape her as an artist and led her to develop a thicker skin for criticism. As Casey Musgraves' career progressed, she eventually landed a role as one of the songwriters on the television show Nashville, which dramatized the country music industry in the series' namesake city. While writing for the popular show was definitely a huge step in her career, it also marked an important moment in her personal life. It was on this show that Musgraves met her future husband, fellow singer-songwriter Rustin Kelly. She explained their connection to Vanity Fair, saying, We had a writing date, and it sounds cliché, but we had an instant connection, and we've been inseparable ever since. Musgraves went on to explain that the happy relationship that followed actually inspired her to be even more creative. She said her song, Oh What a World, is actually partially inspired by how grateful she is to have met the man who eventually became her husband. Ever since Casey Musgraves released her first album, Same Trailer, Different Park, she's been labeled as a rebel by the media and the music industry. Vanity Fair argued that this label came about thanks to her lyrics that centered around LGBT rights, drug use, and the problematic side of small-town life. Musgraves herself explained that she thinks the label is a little misplaced. She told the publication, I have gotten that rebel or outlaw card, and I think partly it's because I'm a woman, but it's pretty inaccurate if you look at the roots of country music storytelling. These are just songs about real shit. Even though Musgraves believes the rebel label isn't really warranted, it's definitely shaped her career. Countless articles refer to her rebellious spirit or her rebel twang. Whether she really is a rebel or she's simply brave enough to write about real stuff, it's clear that there has always been something different about Musgraves. In terms of style, Gacy Musgraves has always had a distinctive look. Back in her earlier days, her album covers and music videos featured lots of the commonly recognized symbols of country music. Think big hair, cowboy boots, and fringe jackets. However, with her fourth album in 2018, Golden Hour, the star's style made a clear shift towards a glam 70s look. In 2020, Teen Vogue spoke to Musgrave stylist Erica Cloud. Cloud explained that she was brought onto the team to help Musgraves change direction stylistically with her 2018 album. Because the album had such a different sound for Musgraves, a different look was required to promote it. Cloud explained, It feels a little more elevated, in the way that she's maturing, so hopefully her fashion is too. They decided upon fashions inspired by the 60s and 70s because it seemed both modern and nostalgic, which Cloud thought was the perfect mixture for Musgrave's golden hour vibe. It's not like she <laughs> is trying to change who she is, she's just evolving. And a lot of the pieces I think are rooted in something classic. While Musgrave's golden hour years saw her change her clothing style, they also saw her change her musical style, too. Rolling Stone commented on the album's sleepy and futuristic feel, crediting the album for its genre-busting and occasionally trippy vibe. As Glamour noted, her previous album was filled with witticisms and wordplay. She told the magazine, I was craving something different. If a painter used the exact same medium every time, they would probably get so bored. She went on to explain to the magazine how changes in her life made her rethink her musical style. When she was writing the album, she had just met her husband, causing a positive shift in her emotional outlook. She explained, quote, I started to see the world in a more fond, pretty light. Plus, she was nearing her 30th birthday, which made her contemplate her future in more depth. It's no wonder the album has such a thoughtful, sun-kissed feel. As Casey Musgraves told Billboard, her mom's creativity was always an inspiration. In 2018, Musgraves actually got to work with her mother on an artistic project. As the singer told Kudemon, she released a coloring book alongside her album Golden Hour. Apparently, her mother did all of the illustrations in the book. And that's not all. Musgraves explained, it's got lyrics in it, and I was very involved with all the details and all the coloring pages. And there's also some activity pages in there, too. It was really fun, but it was a lot of work, and my mom's really talented, so I was really excited to put it out. How sweet to think of Musgraves and her mom coming together for this joint artistic project. It's clear that Musgraves still really looks up to her mother as one of her first and most influential inspirations. Musgraves got a new tour bus after writing Golden Hour, which she decorated herself with colorful furniture and butterfly prints. Prior to this, however, 
Musgraves had shared a bus with her band for six years. While she had an amazing time living with them, Musgraves compared living with her bandmates to summer camp and acknowledged that she had felt the need for a more grown-up setup. She called her new bus a self-care space where she could get some much-needed me-time. It's clear that Musgraves thinks spending time investing in your own self-care is crucial. During the 2020 pandemic and lockdown, she created a self-care kit for her fans, inspired by her song Lonely Weekend. With crafts, bath waters, socks, and a jigsaw puzzle, the kit gives us some idea of how Musgraves likes to unwind in her spare time. Casey Musgraves shocked fans in 2020 when she and her husband Rustin Kelly announced that they were ending their relationship. This came just two years after Musgraves released the album, which she'd said had been inspired by their relationship. The couple made a joint statement to Today, saying that they wanted to stop any speculation about their divorce before it began. The former couple said, We believe that we were put into each other's lives for a divine reason and have both changed each other infinitely for the better. The love we have for each other goes far beyond the relationship we've shared as husband and wife. Though Casey Musgraves may have had a tough start to 2020, the country star is set to experience plenty of good times and even more career success in the future. As she told The Guardian in 2019, Musgraves is the type of artist who is never satisfied, and she is constantly seeking out new inspiration for her music. From her horse, to her relationships, to taking small doses of LSD, Musgraves says she is, quote, inspired by anything that gives me more appreciation for this living rock we are on floating in space. Noting that a change in perspective is a beautiful thing, the country crooner also credited live music, fresh air, and reading as her inspirations. While 2020 was definitely a tough year for Musgraves, we think it's pretty clear that she has had a real change in perspective. We can't wait to see what amazing new music the singer-songwriter produces in the future. One thing's for sure, knowing Musgraves, it's bound to be another genre-bending, record-breaking sensation. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs and musicians are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.